it starts to give you a picture of like the room sizes. Welcome back. We got some framing going on in this video. We're gonna put a whole new floor down, but to do that, uh, we gotta do a little prepping first, obviously. We're making sure that there's no squeaks in the floor, screwing down any spots. Uh, we're gonna frame this old fireplace up, make it even with the floor, and then over here, they did some hacking of the old floor joists. So we're gonna basically resupport those, sister some new two by tens up to it, and basically put a new floor in the bathroom take that stack out. Basically then put new plywood on top of everything so it's all even. We're gonna get 26 <laughs> <laughs> sheets of plywood. We're gonna go to Home Depot now, get some materials we need, and we'll, we'll take you along for the ride and show you what's up. So for our first piece of plywood, what we're doing is we're making sure the area is clean, well swept. We don't want any squeaks in our floor, so me and Jared, we use a lot of glue and a lot of screws. We don't usually like the nails because usually over time they'll pull out and that's what caused the squeaks. Uh, we also go around the area we're about to put in and step around and hear, see if we hear any squeaks. If so, we try to put a screw in before we put the piece of plywood down. So let's show you some action of us putting it in. Alrighty guys, so instead of taking a lunch break today, we're gonna hit the scrap yard and scrap all this. Also scrapping this fastball hoop for the homeowner. So we're grinding it right now and then we're gonna head to the scrap yard and see how much we can get for all this. Let us know how much you think we can get for all this. Some cast iron, all these radiators. Take a guess at how much we're gonna get for all this scrap. It's a lot of weight. We also do have some copper. Not a whole lot, but there's some copper. So we're gonna head to the scrap yard and see what we can get. Tell me what your guess is. Thank you for everything, guys. 42 bucks and 27 cents. 42 bucks. I hope it's more, but. I hope it's more. I'm gonna say 53 bucks. We're gonna find out here soon. So we got our scrap money, $134.10 uh, for our copper cast iron and a shred. I guess our dirty weight. Our copper alone was 43 bucks, which is what Chris's guess was. Yeah, so. really, we'll take that. We're headed back now to the house, get, some, get the rest of that subfloor knocked out. Let's do it. We've been at it. Our master plumber just took off. We got most of our drain lines ran. We haven't uh, ran our supply lines yet for our water because we're stepping it up to three quarter inch and the existing was half inch. So there's gonna be a lot more uh, water pressure coming in. We got our island placed out where there's gonna be a little knee wall here to help hold the counters and also put our drains in. This drains for the sink or dishwasher is gonna tie into that. We wanted to keep you in the loop. We wanted to get you more footage, but we kind of just had to get past this roadblock. We got our toilet. Plumbed up, showers next right here. We're going past our last beam, basically filling this in with three quarter inch plywood, then putting plywood over top of it. We got a little more to go until the uh, subfloor is completely busted out. Once that's done, start getting up to the walls. These wires, you guys are probably wondering what we'll put these wires. What we're gonna do is lay our base plate for our other bathroom wall, and then we're gonna run our wires back up through the wall. That way we don't gotta mess around with fishing more wire back down to our box. So our wire gonna come up through our wall and we're gonna just keep laying the subfloor. So let's start doing that now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty guys, that wraps up the subfloor. Took a little bit longer than we expected, but it's all right, it's nice and solid. Got a good base, no bounce to it, it's all level. No squeaks at all. So you guys are probably wondering what we're gonna be putting on top of the subfloor. Throughout the apartment, we're putting this engineered hardwood. This is kind of the color scheme we're going with. We actually have a piece of floor here. This is it, it's a nice color. It's uh, tongue and groove. And this is gonna go all over the floors everywhere. The bathroom is gonna be tile. But um, this is also gonna go on the ceiling all the way up on both sides and then some of these beams are gonna get wrapped in it too. So stay tuned. Ready to move on to the next thing, uh, framing that bathroom wall. Chris is marking out on the uh, bottom plate where they go. Okay, so as you can see, we got our wall completely framed out and leveled our bathroom wall. You can kind of see an idea of how wide our bathroom wall is gonna be and how wide the uh, bedroom's gonna be. It starts to give you a picture of like the room sizes. We're waiting on to frame this outside wall for our door because we're waiting on our pocket door to come in. We'll be doing that fairly soon. But for the time being, we're working on our exterior walls, putting up our framing on those. So with framing these walls, we're using two by fours along the whole exterior. This is so we have thicker insulation, so it's more energy efficient for this place. And so we have an area to fish all of our wires for our electrical boxes. Kind of get a setup of how far it's gonna be sitting out. But now we just gotta put our stud. We're gonna do the master. Move on to the living room and kitchen next. We'll show you some footage of that. So I had to move my own lumber. Use the uh, forklift since no one was really getting it done here. Luckily, we got it going. We got a new uh, set. Ten footers. Got about to get it going. Grab some new stuff, and then we'll get out of here quick so we can get back to work. Check it out. See how bent that is. You can't really frame with this, so that's why you gotta check your lumber before you buy it. You can't just throw it on the cart and buy it because framing with this piece is uh, probably a nightmare. So. We're gonna avoid grabbing any pieces like that. Just gotta look for them, make sure they're straight. So check out our pile of bent lumber. Man, about one in every two is straight. It's terrible. So we made it back with the lumber. We also bought two pocket doors. Gonna get those in here soon. We'll show you guys that. But for now, let's just unload this and keep moving. Run these base plates. And then top plates and then just run all the studs so we're making our way down this main wall chris is marking out where our studs go again just keeping it moving show you guys a time lapse here So guys, we got our closet wall studded out. Now our next goal is to do our half wall right here, coming up the stairs. And this wall is also gonna extend up to a full wall, which will turn into a pocket door right here. It's gonna be a small hallway behind the couch to open this door. So we're gonna be working on this half wall next. Now we'll put some blocks in. We don't play around. Make this a little bit stronger. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. We got the whole subfloor done and we got framing halfway done. And we also got our plumbing started. Stay tuned for our next video where we finish off the framing and get ready to run some electrical. If you haven't already, help support your boys by hitting that subscribe button down below. And also hit that like button and drop a comment and we'll see you in the next one.